what do we know about accelerators? You know, the things that maybe it's an engine or maybe it's a motion or whatever it is. Accelerator means it is motion. It's motivation in motion. It is people in motion. It is an engine in motion. Whatever it is. So when you look at an income accelerator, what does that mean to you when I say income accelerator? I mean, really, what does that mean? Get down and dirty to it and let me know what you think that means and how you feel that means to you. When I say the words income accelerator, to me, when I say that word, it means, first of all, that I'm growing my income. And it means that I'm having to work a little more maybe work a little harder, maybe do some things that are out of my comfort zone. So when I look at what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, hold on. Ah, I am having a problem. A tour. I'm sorry, this is not very good business. I apologize for that. When I look at building my income and growing my income, I have to look at different prospects of my business and different ways that I'm working my business, for one. And I have to look at what I'm doing to accelerate what I'm doing. And not just what I'm doing, but what is it that I'm planting, what are the seeds that I'm planting that are going to grow and to make what I'm doing more prosperous and more profitable for me. So when I have to look at that, and I have to look at it for the big picture, okay? Because knowing this, and you've been on my trainings, you've been on my teachings, and knowing that anything you desire to increase or having all starts with a thought and your words. First, you have to think it. Then you're going to put it into life by giving it words, which gives it power. It gives it fuel. It gives it fertilizer. It lets it grow. And maybe you're getting it into an affirmation. So, and this is just a little tidbit here on the sideline, guys, because I'm, I'm hearing a lot of clutter out there. And a lot of you are doing your affirmations every day, but you're not getting any results. Who's, who can attest to that? Who can say, I? And you know what? It's happened to all of us. And when you learn that you are the soil, so to speak, of what you are creating, so when you're giving your affirmations out there to the universe you're putting it out there and you're wanting to grow your income you're wanting to grow your business you got family to support you got people depending on you and you're trying to grow this and it's just not working it happens it happens to all of us and you know when you do that i want you to get your affirmations out whatever you're saying Whatever aff affirmation resonates with you, whatever you feel in the heart, your heart brain is very powerful, four feet out. Think about that. So look yourself in the eye in the mirror. Go in the mirror. I want you to do this every single day throughout the day. If you have to put a mirror in your office that you can look into, you don't have to have one that you're going you're gonna to give yourself a vanity check, but you're going to look into the mirror and you're going to say it with thought, with feeling. Say your affirmation. Because what you're going to do is you're going to look yourself in the eye and you're going to proclaim your intentions. By proclaiming your intentions as you've planted this seed, now you're going to nurture it every day by giving it more and more emotions. Emotions is like the water, the fertilizer, the sun that your seed needs to grow. So when you are growing and building your sustainable income business, which is what you need, if you're going to make it anywhere on the online world, you have to build a sustainable income platform. And to do this, you have to have a sustainable foundation. That is you. You are the foundation of everything you're ever going to have in your life. You are the foundation. So listen up this is where it's getting good guys listen to the end because this is really good so you know why the affirmations aren't working because number one you're not putting a lot of feeling into it you're just you're just saying them if you're just saying them then where's the where's the emotion where's the feeling where's the 
fertilizer? Where's the water? Where's the sun? What are you doing to nourish the seeds you've planted? That's how you do it. So that's why the affirmations are not working for you. And yeah, you know how to get them to work for you. So, but know that they are the seeds. Your affirmations are the seeds that are growing your business. They're growing who you are, what you're doing, and they're growing the success you're having. So oftentimes the income we desired is held back. And we know this for a fact because we see it all the time. It's held back by limiting beliefs that you hold deep down inside of yourself. And when you hold these limiting beliefs deep down inside of yourself, you don't even know they're there. And maybe sometimes, you know, one will show up and you'll be able to acknowledge it and let it go and get rid of it so it doesn't come back. At other times, they just stay down there holding it down and holding it back. So another step that I've learned over the years is forgive yourself. And I'm not saying you have a whole list of stuff. Maybe it's just a bunch of little stuff you want to forgive yourself for. But if you're holding on to any negativity where you need to forgive, then that's holding you down. That is keeping you where you're at. So for me, I can show you what I do. I can tell you how I do it. And if this doesn't work for you, then fine. There are other methods or other ways. Louise Hayes has a great teaching that she put out years ago before she passed. And how to do this, how to love yourself, how to forgive yourself. For me, I use the Ho'opopono way because it's an ancient, ancient Hawaiian clearing method that cleans out the energy from your subconscious, from your conscious, cleans out that, cleans out the energy from your home that is negative or bad. So I use that way, which is, it's simple, it's basic. There's a whole teaching on it. I'm just going to give you the mantra that I use, okay? It's, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And you're speaking to yourself. You're speaking these words to yourself. And as you speak these words to yourself, the vibration is going out. And at the same time, you are clearing out the bad negative energy in your home, in your room, in the office, wherever you're at. Or maybe you want to attach it to a thought or a feeling you had. Clear it. Let it go. When you can forgive yourself, you're freeing up the baggage. You're freeing up whatever negative is holding you down. You're freeing that up. And when you do that, you can build a sustainable home business, you can build a sustainable income, and you can build a sustainable lifestyle that you choose to have. So, like I said, the Hawaiian, ancient Hawaiian, they've been using this for eons, forever and ever. And it works. It really works. When I started using that here a ways back, I found that not only was I more calm, not only was things more peaceful, but I was beginning to learn to love myself even more than I already did. Because when you can love yourself and you can be grateful for what you have, all the little stuff, every little thing. I'm always grateful for my computer works, always great. I'm grateful for my camera, my lights, my microphone, my systems, my strategies, my courses I build. I am grateful for my family. My toothbrush. I love my toothbrush. So when you can love yourself and be grateful for all the little things in your life, be grateful that you released the limiting beliefs. When you can be grateful for that, you are golden. Because then when you love yourself and you can love yourself, you can love yourself a lot and you can be grateful a lot. When you do, the, uh, the universe is easily giving you what you want the universe can give you easily what you want when you're in a loving grateful mindset a loving grateful aura a loving grateful part of your life when you do that it's there it's whole it's giving it's caring it's all part of you and what you're doing when you do that, it's easier because you're opening your arms. It's like when you're opening your arms, you know, you're opening your arms and you're saying, okay, I accept, I embrace 
the love I feel for myself and for the people around me. And I always believed way back in the day that I meet people for a reason or a season. Whether it be I have something to teach them or I have something to share with them or that I have something to learn. I'm always in a learning mode. Whenever I do a course or whenever I do a seminar, if I'm up speaking, I am in a learning receiving mode because I am receiving the energy back from the audience and the crowd. I am receiving through questions asked. I am receiving knowledge. I'm receiving the whole time, not just giving out, which I always do. I give out my love and my gratitude just for being able to speak to you today in this speaking. I'm able to give you a piece of me, which that is giving and that is love and gratitude. Do these simple things to increase your income accelerator. You have to have some kind of acceleration going on your income or it's going to stay stagnant. It's going to stay right where it is and that's not where you want to be. I know it's not because that's not where I want to be. And granted, we're all meant to be individuals. God created us all to be unique. He created us all to be specifically to ourselves. It means we're not supposed to actually have to dress like someone else. We don't have to do our hair like someone else. We definitely don't have to make our front yards look like someone else. You know, when we moved into this home that we're in now, we first one of the first things we did was change the landscape. Because you don't want to look like everybody else in the neighborhood. You want to be unique. You want to be your own personality, your own self. That's who you're meant to be. You're not meant to have five trees because someone else has five trees. Or a certain bush because someone else has a certain bush. Or you're not meant to do your eyebrows a certain way because another lady does hers and she likes it. You're meant to be yourself and who you are. You're meant to be unique. You're meant to increase your income wealth. You're meant to grow. You're meant to prosper. And you're meant to get the skills and the training you need when you need it. These things are all put in place for you when you are in tune to receiving them. When you're in tune to receiving them, they're going to show up. They're going to show up and they're going to be right there. Just like this training I have for you in the header. It's there. So those of you who are in tune to income accelerator and increasing your own income, you're going to look at this system and you're going to say, oh my gosh, where has this been? I need this. I need this skill. Lasts a lifetime. Any skill I give you lasts a lifetime. You can use it forever in, in all different situations. It works. So, I want to hear back on what you're doing and how it's going. I want to hear back on your, your success. I want to hear back on how maybe you're teaching the same strategy or the same course. Yes, duplicate it. Make it your own. Put it in your own words. Go ahead. I didn't copyright this one. So go ahead and use the skills. Use the system. Use the training. Okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day.